Hey guys, Team Intro bringing you a Wi Fi battle versus Kid Banga. Uh, that was his name on the chat. I don't know if he has a YouTube or anything, but uh, this was a pretty fun battle considering our DD is mostly you use. Um, he had a Blissey that was kind of made me cry because I don't have too much to take it down with. Uh, but I could try to work around it. And let's just get on with the battle now. Uh, we're going to lead it off with our leads, and then we're getting up with Tangrowth and Blissey. And he's going to Thunder Wave on my switch to my Tangrowth, which isn't too bad. I do have a uh, Grump Big with nat not Natural Cure, um, uh, Heal Bell. Uh, so yeah, again, not too bad for me. Um, but he does get the Parax on me this turn, which did matter because I did go for the Sleep Pattern on his switch to Dust Noir. Uh, but I'm a physical wall, so I know I can take an Ice Punch, and I do pretty nicely. So I'm going to go for the Sleep Pattern this turn, which is pretty good for me because I already have the Dust Noir Sleep, and that thing could have been a big pain uh, considering its uh, defense's stats. So he's going to switch, or I'm going to switch out into my Grump Pig now um, just to go for the Heal Ball, and he's going to stay and try to get the first turn wake up, but he doesn't. Uh, but now he's going to switch out into his Starmie here. Uh, well, I just go for the heal belt, and I'm not too threatened by it. I do have max special defense. Um, he actually just goes for the rapid spin, so it's pretty bad, not too bad for me. I do go for the toxic this turn, which is a stupid move because he does have natural cure, and he's going to switch right out right now. So that was just a useless move on my part. Uh, but I'm going to switch out into my Dengar predicting some sort of water move, which is also another stupid move because I knew he's going to switch out anyways, and. Uh, now I'm going to switch out into my Nido King predicting the Thunder Wave, and um, that was a good move. So I'm going to switch out into my Star Raptor now, uh, fearing that he could be afraid of this thing that I could KO with uh, close combat. But he's actually going to go for the Aroma Therapy on my switch to, I mean, while I switch into my Star Raptor. Uh, but I'm going to go for the U turn on the switch to Dust Noir because I don't want to go for the close combat with uh, this thing still alive. And it's now awake, so it's pretty bad. Um, but I'm going to switch right onto my Tangrowth because I know I can take hits from that thing. Uh, I don't know if he has a will o -Wisp yet because I haven't seen it yet because yeah oh. But he's gonna switch right out to his Blissey uh, and I predict that instead of going for the Sleep Powder because he does have natural cure and that would be a useless move so I went for the Leech Seed instead and he's gonna Thunder Wave me which again doesn't matter I do have a Heal Beller on this team so he does get the Parax on me this turn um, I don't know why I even stayed in uh, well I stayed, I know why I stayed in this turn because I don't want anything, anything else getting paralyzed uh, but I don't know why I stayed in this turn I guess I was predicting maybe another Thunder Wave uh, for him to predict me to switch or something, but I went for the Sleep Powder, so whatever, that's kind of weird, but, um, uh, I think I am going to switch out into my Star Raptor now, maybe, uh, I do gain a lot of amount of HP, I do gain a good amount of HP back from the Leech Seed on his Blissey, which is good, uh, yeah, I do switch out to my Star Raptor, um, I know Brave Bird could probably kill that thing, uh, seeing it is stabbed and I am max at, Max attack adamant, uh, but I do go for the U-turn here. Uh, on a switch into the Gigai lift or Gigai Su. Um, uh, that breaks his sturdy, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna switch out to my own lead and just set up my rocks, fearing. I mean, hoping he was fearing like a water move or something, but he actually just stays and goes for his own rocks. So, uh, but now I'm gonna go for the hydro pump this turn, and it will do a good amount of damage on this army. So I know I can two it KO that later on. Um, or just KO it later on when it switches in. Um. But I'm going to switch on to my Grump Pig, predicting the Rapid Spin this time. And I know he can't do too much to me again, um, because I haven't seen the Life Orb or Leftover, so he could be Choice Specs, maybe. Uh, so that's why I just went with the Heal Bell this turn to get rid of the Paralysis on my Tangrowth. And he's going to switch out to his Blissey, which again, just just by looking at it, I can't do anything to this thing. Um, I, I need to get like a good switch into maybe my Hymn on top or my Star Raptor to try to take that thing down, but... Yeah, sorry about that random clapping in the background, but uh, he's gonna get the. I do get the parax on him, which is good for me because it makes up for the paraxes he had on me before. But he's gonna thunder wave on my switch into my hit on top, uh, which doesn't really matter. This thing is really slow as fuck, anyway. So I just need this thing to basically take down uh, Blissey. And now I'm gonna predict him to predict me to go for the close combat. And I know he's gonna switch out into his dust nor, so that's why I just went straight out to my um. Star Raptor, uh, still didn't matter even if he just stayed in, um, he probably would have went for like maybe a seismic talk or some seismic toss or something, but I do have, um, a chance to go for the Brave Bird here, but I know it wouldn't have killed because of Dust Nord's great defenses, so I just went for the U-turn this turn and switch out into my Tangrowth predicting another physical move, uh, but he just goes for the Will-O-Wisp, so that tells me he's probably a wall, obviously, so, um, I'm gonna switch out into my, or, er, I think I'm just going to go for the lead seed on the switch to his Blissey, which I predicted, I think. Uh, just so I can get a good amount of HP back. And I think now I will just switch out into my something. I really have no idea. Um, let's just see. 
Oh, uh, he's actually gonna switch out and go into his Gagalith. Oh, alright, um, but I'm gonna switch out into my Staraptor, or no, my Grumpig. Alright, yeah, I was gonna say Grumpig, but, um, I know I'm just gonna, um, I mean, I know he's just gonna probably set up his rocks, I think. Um, no, not set up his rocks, I haven't rapid spin yet. Um, I really have no idea what he's gonna do, so I just stayed in and went for the Heal Bell. Uh, but he actually was for the Explosion, which kind of just messed me over. Uh, I mean, just messed me up because I really needed this Grumpig. Um, not too much, I mean, I needed it for the Heal Bell. And I do have Thunder even Toxic on this thing, which could have helped. But and now I'm just gonna send out my um, sweeper while he sends out his own sweeper. Um, I know he's probably not Scarf, um, so that's why I just went for the U-turn this turn, predicting to switch into Dustnor. And again, I kind of have to get rid of this thing because I can't close combat without this thing dead. I mean, with this thing uh, still alive. So I'm gonna switch out into my. Um, uh, what did I just do? Oh, I U-turn and switch out into my Nido King, and that's really the only thing I can. Um, have to take this thing down. So I went for the Earth Power, and it does a pretty good amount of damage to it. So I know I can probably take it out the next turn or to maybe a 3 KO. Um, um, not 3 KO, 2 KO. But he switched out to his Blissey, which oh my God, it does like nothing to it. Um, I am gonna get damage from the burn from time to time, which sucks. But I'm gonna stay in this turn, predicting him to go for the Thunder Wave. And I just wanted to get more damage on this Blissey, hoping he doesn't have Soft Boiled, which was a pretty stupid move, because all Blisseys carry Soft Boiled, because they're all fat hoes. But uh, now I'm going to switch out to my Empoleon, predicting really nothing. Um, but he does go for the Soft Boiled, which just, oh my god, that really sucked. He just reco recovered all of that damage I did to him. Um, and now he's going to go out to his Starmie. Uh, I'm just going to set up my Rocks this turn, and I know he just wants to... Um, get damage on this Empoleon because, I mean, I didn't expect this Empoleon to still be in this, I didn't expect him to be this late in the game still, um, I was just hoping to be using him as a lead and shit, but he actually is, like, is, he was actually pretty useful, so, um, he just goes for the Thunderbolt on my Empoleon, which doesn't take me out, and I'll just be able to take it out with the Hydro Pump, and now he's gonna switch out into his Krugadal, and I'm fearing the Earthquake, so that's why I went for the Aqua Jet, but he actually goes for the Fire Fang, which was, um, pretty weird, um, but I do get two Aqua Jets off, I probably should have went for the Hydro Pump, Maybe, um, but that would have been a stupid move because he probably ox he probably would have went for the earthquake. But I think he just went for the fire thing because I still have my star after. Um, but I do get the intimidate on um from my him on top, and I'm just gonna go for the rapid spin. I'm just gonna go for the rapid spin uh, to get the rocks off or away. Oh, I mean, um, I know he can't do too much to me, so I'm gonna stay in and try to kill it. Uh, I was actually predicting the dust nor to come in, which was a pretty stupid move on my part because I do have my rocks up and it'll just probably kill the crocodile on the switch. So uh, I do go for the sucker punch this turn, um, just to take it out. And now he's gonna go out into his dust nor. Uh, I don't have any hits to, I mean, I don't have any moves to really hurt this thing. So I'm gonna switch on to my needle king predicting the will o wisp, and he does go for the will o wisp, so that's good. Um, um. I'm just gonna go for the Earth Power this turn, uh, but it does go out to the Blissey, which is, again is really bad. Uh, I'm going to lose a lot of uh, damage from the burn, and I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna still have this Needle King for the Dustnor. Uh, I do have my Star Raptor to take it out, but I still, I, <coughs> sorry, I still wanna um, use my Needle King. Um, but I'm gonna switch into my Tangrowth, break thing, that thing again, really. Um, but he goes for the Thunder Wave, and now he's just going to Seismic Toss me. Um, I do with the Parax. Uh, he does get the Parax on me this turn, uh, which didn't really matter. I was just going to use Leech Seed this turn. I, at this point, I really do not care at all, because it's just Blissey, and he's, all he's going to do is really Seismic Toss me. Um, and I'm going to gain a lot of HP back from the Leftovers and Leech Seed, so basically the Seismic Toss is gonna, the seismic Tosses are going to be just recovered. Um, so now, really, I have no idea what to do. Um... He actually switches out into his Dustnor, uh, and I think I just stay in, or, yeah, I do stay in and go for the Sleep Power. Oh, so that's pretty good for me, um, now I can probably just take this thing out, um, not worrying about Will-O-Wispies, will o wisp will o wisp will o wisp whatever, <laughs> but, um, now he's gonna switch out to his Blissey, probably to Aromatherapy, and I just set up the Leech Seed, um, basically to get back at full HP, and now I'm gonna switch out into my, um, 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 him on top, yeah, and he's gonna go for the flamethrower here, which I really did not see coming. I'm like, what? Blissey had flamethrower? Why didn't he just use it on my hit, uh, Tangrowth? Uh, it does a good amount of damage. I'm like, whoa, and I didn't even, um, like see the uh, life orb like during the live battle. And he's gonna go for the flamethrower again. I'm like, whoa, he's faster too. What the hell, and now I'm gonna go for the close combat here, and now it will say it's a Zorark. I'm just like, holy fuck, are you serious? Dude, that thing could have wrecked me at the 
and I did not even remember this thing was like still there. Well, now you know that Zerox can come back at the end of the game and just like fuck your ass up, dude. God, that really scared me right there. Um, but I do take it out, so it's good. Um, now I'm just gonna take out the Dustner with the Stone Edge, and his last Pokemon is Blissey, his real one. Uh, I'm going to be able to take that out with a close combat. So that is good game, Kid Banga. Um, like this video, you guys. Um, and um, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. So see you guys.